Hey guys, what's going on? Brendan here, and today I'm doing my review of DC League of Super Pets. DC League of Super Pets is a film starring Dwayne The Rock Johnson as Crypto, and starring uh, also as well uh, Kevin Hart as Ace. And this film also has a, a, a few other really uh, big names. Keanu Reeves as Batman. John Krasinski as Superman, and um, and uh, Kate McKinnon is in there, um, amongst a very other like against other very good, um, very talented actors, voice actors, you know the whole shebang. And this film. Um, it starts off, and Superman is a baby. It kind of shows his origin story, where he's on uh, Krypton, and he goes to, you know, he's he, he his parents are like sending him to Earth in the pod, and then he uh, Crypto, his dog jumps onto the, um, the 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 spaceship with him, and this film. After that point, it, then it goes right to uh, Superman as an adult with uh, his dog, played by Dwayne Johnson, um, you know, with him. And you, you get a very good sense of their, like, relationship and how great of a, like, friendship kind of, like, dog and his best, you know, you know, dog, you know, dog being man's best friend kind of, kind of a uh, situation here. And... It works. It really does. It really does work, for the most part. And uh, then Superman gets like kidnapped, and so that's where this story goes. Crypto has to find a way to get his owner back without his powers. Um. And there is some really good, like, funny, like, kind of like adult-driven jokes in this. The kid jokes really didn't work for me, but I'm not a kid, so, you know, I, maybe they do work for kids. I don't know. Um, may, I think if I can put my kid self in my, like, kid brain, I think I probably would have laughed at some of these as a kid. So I think this is a, I think this is, I think a, I think adults will enjoy this movie to some extent, and I think that kids will love this film. Uh, that's how I'm uh, feeling about the film currently. It's not like the, a, a masterpiece of a of a of a kids movie, but it's just a fun little endearing, uh, you know, adult, uh, you know, a little few adult jokes here and there, with um, mainly kid jokes and mainly like you know fun little uh, nods. Uh, they do make fun of Marvel in this film. Quite a bit, which I thought was funny. I, I enjoyed those little jabs. Um, I didn't think that this movie... I felt like the writing at times was a little annoying. Um, I felt like that, that certain aspects of the writing, um, certain... Certain aspects of, like, certain things that were going on. I don't... I'm trying to be very vague. Um, but... <laughs> Certain aspects of uh, certain aspects of things uh, really didn't work all that well, but certain ones did. Um, there's kind of like, and I guess I didn't really see it as a twist, but I guess as a kid maybe you would. Um, there's like a little like thing at the end that you know maybe a kid would be surprised by, but obviously all adults knew what was going on. Uh, this movie is very predictable, which, you know, I kind of would have, would expect it not to be completely, like, unpredictable as, like, a, ch a children's film, you know. It, it's just, you know, I think as a kid, I'd probably give this, like, a nine. As an adult, I'm giving it, like, a six and a half, seven, maybe. But, you know, it's not bad. It's a good little kid's movie, and it's good, it's a fun little movie. And that's really all to say. I don't really have a lot to say in this one, so only like a five minute video here, you know, quick. Um, if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. 
You can follow me on Twitter and the link in the description below. Peace.